Welcome back to the channel. I'm Lauren Fix, and this is the 2023 Volvo V60 Cross Country. This is the B5 driveline, and it's all-wheel drive. Now, what is this vehicle? It is a front-engine, all-wheel drive, five-passenger, four-door wagon. Wagons are an alternative to SUV and crossovers. And the reason I like wagons personally is it gives you that utility like you would get in an SUV, but it also gives you that car-like ride. And this vehicle's across country. So if you decide to do some light off-roading, you won't feel uncomfortable. The vehicle is capable. And best of all, you can do it if you want to, but if you don't, you have a great looking Swedish vehicle. Now, when you think Swedish, you might think, oh, is that different? No, it's a European style vehicle, both inside and out. And for 2023, there are some changes, not just on the exterior trims, the mild hybrid drive lines, and then of course, some interior details. And we'll go through all of that and we'll take it for a test drive. So you wanna stay with us. Let's get started with the exterior of the vehicle and some of the changes. You can get a V60 that is not a cross country, but the cross country means that it's got a slightly higher elevated height, which means if you want to take it off-road camping or where we are here at this trailhead, you can do that and have a little bit of fun along the way and adventure some of the outdoors. Now this vehicle does have LED headlights. The grille is the same and behind this Volvo logo is not just the camera, but a lot of the radar controls that are part of the standard safety features, which we will cover as well. Our test vehicle rides on 20 inch alloy wheels on all season tires that are by Pirelli. Of course, there are different wheels as well as different tires. Total ground clearance is 8.1 inches. The Cross Country offers a full panoramic glass roof across the top with a shade, nine exterior colors, three interior colors, and a four-year 50,000-mile warranty with a three-year 36,000-mile complimentary scheduled maintenance. That will help save you a few dollars. Coming around to the back, you've got this upper wing and the wiper blade and the Volvo logo, as you would expect, and a good-sized piece of glass, which we'll talk about in visibility. In addition, you've got your V60 logo here, LED taillights that run all all the way up the sides and this is the b5 engine and this also denotes all-wheel drive in addition you'll notice that cross-country logo is embossed across the back we did have this off-roading a little bit so it is a little bit dirty so i do apologize but i just had had to it was just too much fun to take this vehicle and show how capable it is and again we'll talk about that during the drive impression but overall a nice clean and as expected volvo rear end when it comes to seating, Volvo has really nice seats, not just nice leather materials and cloth material options, but in addition, this vehicle has settings for ventilated and cooling. Our test vehicle only has heated seats and a heated steering wheel, but you can also adjust the thigh bolsters as well as the side bolsters here, making this really nice and comfortable. In addition, there is adjustable height seat belts which is really nice so you don't cut your neck. Both the driver and the passenger seat have the same settings, which is much appreciated because when you're sitting here on the passenger seat, you want the power adjustments as well. Very nicely done, really nice and comfortable seats. Going into the second row again, you have those nice stylized European seats with two child safety seats. And I believe that Volvo does offer an integrated child safety seat if that's an option that you are considering. I really like the interior color combinations of the cream and the black, really nice. They always have nice color combos. In the back seat, you've got netting on both sides, additional settings for your climate control and vents, and further down, two USB-C connection points. In the doors, you've got Bowers and Wilkins speakers, as well as additional storage. Again, very nicely stylized and there's a vent here on the B-pillar, which allows you to adjust your climate here in the second row. Up above, you've got a light, additional hooks for additional accessories and a grip. Between the two rear seats, you've got cup holders here that are hidden and a pass-through for skis or any long items. When it comes to technology and features, this nine inch center screen is pretty standard on the whole Volvo lineup. It is an infotainment touch screen that now has Google Assist. So if you wanna go into the maps, you would use Google and it will connect. Now, obviously there is Wi-Fi connectability. The audio system, by the way, cause I'm sure you're curious, is Bowers and Wilkins. Currently we are just listening to an FM radio station, but there are other sources 
And all of that, again, you can pick and choose by going into this menu right there, and it tells you you've got Bluetooth player, radio, Sirius XM, YouTube music, Spotify, podcasts, and your news. Whatever you need is right here. Now, there's also Apple CarPlay and phone there if you want to connect up your phone. And in addition, if you want to go into the different menus, it's that little square here in the corner, and that will take you here. You can play the news or whatever you would like. We don't want to do that because we'll get in trouble. But there is also your charge point information. Now, another way you can access all this is just touch that area. It'll take you right to the map. You can slide it this way and it'll show you your options. Same thing is true with the map for charge points or your driving journal. In addition, that's true with all the different settings. You can put that in, which means there's also air quality check, both in your area and also in your vehicle and car status. Really nice details. All of that is right there in front of you. And that Bowers and Wilkins audio system is 10 speakers with 220 watts. The one thing you do need to know to connect Apple CarPlay, you do need to cord it initially and then it will set up. That was one thing I didn't have with me, but Apple CarPlay does work and is a pretty quick processor. Good thing to know. In front of you, you've got your usual controls for Volvo, which would include your cruise control, your distance control for your safety. And on this side has got your different screens in front of you and of course your audio system. There are no paddle shifters on this vehicle, so you've got your lights on the left and your wiper blades, both front and rear, are here on the right. In front of you, you have a digital screen, and there's also a head-up display that is part of the Polestar Engineering Optimization software, which means it is much faster. There's also four USB-C charge ports in the vehicle. I do want to point out that the materials that are in this vehicle are really nice. They're real, they're real stitched, and they're soft touch and very nicely designed. Also, the real wood is really nicely done. You can feel the grain. They did a nice job making this vehicle really pretty with a mixture of leather and wood and metal. And one of my favorite features below this audio system and behind this really neat little place to hide change is the most beautiful shifter that you've seen. I have to say it's one of the best in the business. It is a Swedish crystal made for Volvo exclusively by Aurifers. Now, if you haven't heard of that brand, then you're probably not into really nice crystal, but this is one of the most beautiful crystal, real crystal shifters you've ever seen. Your shifter's right here, and your park is there. There's an extra charge port. Additional hidden storage is here. That hidden storage is there, and this is real wood, and it just scrolls back. This is your start-stop right here. You just turn it, your parking brake, and your assist. Underneath this glove box is additional storage and more charge ports. When it comes to safety, the Volvo has a five-star crash test rating from the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. That is the top rating. But it also has additional safety features which are standard because Volvo's always been known for safety and they develop safety. Lane keeping assist, roadside recognition, and ready to drive notifications, which is really good when you're at a stoplight. Driving dynamics are also here. You can change the different modes. In addition, you can go over here and change the different settings that you want and set up your profile. All of that for driving assist and driving dynamics are right here, including the pilot assist. All of this is standard emergency braking preparation, emergency braking assist, and there's so much more. But the one thing is, it's all standard and Volvo is always known for safety. Under the hood is a two liter turbocharged and intercooled inline four cylinder engine. There are three different engine types you can get. The B4, which has a four cylinder engine with 197 horsepower plus 13 horsepower from its integrated starter generator. The B5, which is our test vehicle, which is also a 48 volt mild hybrid, which means it has a gas and a charging door on all of the trim levels, has 247 horsepower and 13 horsepower from the integrated starter. The B6 optional engine includes a new electronic supercharger, which has 295 horsepower and 13 horsepower from that starter generator. Our test vehicle has an 8-speed automatic transmission and runs on premium unleaded, which is recommended. 0 to 60 time is 7.1 seconds, earning 26 miles to the gallon combined. All of the cross-countries are all-wheel drive, 
include descent hill control, rear air suspension, and a towing capacity of 2,000 pounds. Volvo has electrified their complete lineup. What that means is that you're going to have two charge ports, one for gasoline and one for charging. That's what that 48 volt mild architecture is going to do. And what that really means to you is that you're going to get that extra boost with a smaller motor, so you're going to get better performance and you're going to get better fuel economy. And because Volvo has really been working on this for a long time, they have it so smooth that you really can't tell the difference when it's driving on electric or it's driving on gas because the combination is just really nicely sorted out. As far as the brakes, they're nice and firm. As expected, this vehicle is really easy to drive. There is also street sign recognition if you're afraid of speeding. That notification is right here in the gauges in front of you, also in the head-up display so that you can make sure not to speed and get a ticket. But overall, this vehicle handles really nicely. It's good for the light off-road, those gravel roads, that campsite that you might be going to. This vehicle is not designed to be rock crawling, but most people aren't going to do that anyhow, even if they have a vehicle that can. Most people are driving this vehicle every day. And if you do have that time where you have to go off-road to that soccer game where it's way out in the grass, you don't have to worry about anything. This vehicle has full capability and still has excellent ride and a lot of European flavor because it's Swedish. And I really think that's an important factor because Volvo's been making great cars for years. This just continues that really nice ride and handling. Acceleration, pretty good. I mean, you can tell when that electric motor merges with that gas motor, it gives it really good pickup. Remember, the competitors in this class are pretty equivalent, and so you wanna make sure to test drive all of them before you make your final decision. The safety features work well. They're not invasive. They have a vibration in the steering wheel or give you that lane departure warning. All of that is really nice and not over the top. Steering is nice and firm. And I do like this grippy steering wheel. So for braking and handling, I'm really liking this vehicle and, and how it handles overall. We're excited to have this vehicle for a week, test its light off-road capability, and leave a little dirt on the vehicle as well. When it comes to cargo space, there is 22.9 cubic feet of storage. Fold down that second row seat and you're at 60.5 cubic feet of storage. That's more than most SUVs. In addition, if it's a real off-road vehicle, it must have a spare. And Volvo has delivered you with a spare right here underneath and a jack and everything you need in case you get stuck off-road. All off-road vehicles that say they're off-road or any form of off-road, should have a spare tire. The 2023 Volvo V60 Cross Country B5 all-wheel drive starts at $48,800 and goes all the way up to $53,000. Now our test vehicle has a lot of additional goodies, which I personally would want, and brought this vehicle in around $63,000. It is important to note there are a lot of pros with this vehicle. The optional plug-in driveline is excellent, giving you that mild hybrid performance and better fuel economy and can get you a partial tax credit on a lease, which is important to note, so make sure to check that out before you sign on the bottom line. I really like the new interior details and the fact this is very European in design, style, and performance. On the negative side, there is no AM radio and Volvo is planning to delete that. Personally, that's an issue for me because emergency broadcast system living here in Buffalo, we do use that and that is the signal that goes through AM radio. And also for the Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, you have to plug in the phone initially. There is no wireless charging available on our vehicle also. Little details that may or may not be important to you, but also important to know. Now, there are a few competitors in this category. The Audi All Road is an option or the Mercedes E450 all-wheel drive. Again, not a lot of wagons out there, but it's certainly an option to literally every single crossover and SUV that's out there. I'm sure you have some additional questions about the different drive lines and the Volvo V60 lineup, both the cross country and the not cross country. You can put that down in the comments below. I'll be more than happy to answer your questions. If you got value from this video, make sure to like and subscribe, share it with your friends. If you'd like to support our channel, you can buy me a cup of coffee. The link for that is down below as well as for the website the social media, the podcast, and my book. I appreciate your support. Thank you so much for watching. Check out my other videos, and we'll look forward to seeing you next time.